Don't even pay attention to all that. <laughs> Don't even pay attention to all that. <laughs> A little up and personal don't you think mm -hmm. anyways today guys I'm back with a makeup video anyways yeah don't y'all don't mind my nails I was playing around with a little black nail polish I look crazy I look like a hot topic girl mm -hmm. I look like I shop at hot topic middle school days oh come on grow up anyway so I'm gonna come with like a natural looking makeup but kind of dramatic because I'm gonna make sure my under eyes and my con the place where I put my concealer is gonna be a lot brighter than usual but let's get into it let's stop wasting time and talking I'm sorry y'all I'm uh, I should be uploading every Friday but y'all it, it was easier in the beginning it's not easy anymore <laughs> I might have to move it to 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 twice that month at least at least twice a month something wrong with my my speech y'all i need to go back to english and if y'all hear background noises don't mind my little sister is in over here doing her homework in my room she's my assistant again <laughs> anyways for rough and don't mind my shirt either i look dusty and crusty right now but once the look is done everything else will be done okay so usually for my eyebrows y'all i love that look where it like comes all the way out and like up and out like not with the real arch but like the one that goes out you hear, do y'all get what i'm saying y'all get what i'm saying <laughs> if you don't get it sorry i'm gonna show you anyway but i usually go on with the anastasia dip brow in um ebony hopefully y'all can see that in ebony and then i go in with this type of um eyebrow uh eyebrow brush i always make sure to use this one because it has a really sharp slanted line and that really helps with getting the type of brow that i love so yeah guys just watch me do it so yeah guys really slight and this is what i mean by when i like it out you see how i didn't follow my natural brow line like you see my natural brow lines down there i do i like the type where it goes up and out and now we're gonna do the top and you see i didn't go all the way to the front of my eyebrow because that's where i want the blend to start i don't like those really obvious boxy brows i like them when it is light and then it goes to being defined then guys that's when i start going towards the front going towards the front and like drawing the start line And then once I like it, which I do, I'm just gonna take the leftover product on the brush and start filling that in. And then I go on with the spoolie part. You see how I dragged when I was doing this, I dragged it towards the middle. I'm just gonna take the spoolie part and erase it. And even if I don't erase it now, I use my concealer later to go in and just erase it. And that's the brow without it being, um, without it being, um, concealed and fixed up. It looks good without concealer. And you don't have to use concealer if you don't want to, but obviously for a sharper look, you're going to want to. Alright, these are our brows. Oh, and as you can see, you can see my natural brow peeking. I don't know if y'all can, but my natural brow is peeking a bit. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. The concealer will cover up. Don't even pay attention to all that. <laughs> don't even pay attention to all that. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing eyeshot, I use Fawn and the pro conceal line but most of the time maybe like 90 percent of the time i'm doing this type of look when i go out because eyeshadow has become too much in my life but for y'all i'm gonna start back into it yeah. 
so just wait a bit but um usually i would use fawn right but since i'm doing the natural look i go in with something similar to my skin tone which is toast so right now i'm about to clean up my eyebrows with toast from the uh pro conceal line hd high definition la girl and now i'm gonna go in with a, a brush like this it's not really an eyebrow um cleaner brush whatever i just use whatever because i lost my um old one but I just use whatever works. As long as it's flat and it's sturdy, it's gonna work anyway. So that's what I do. Put some out, dab the product on there, and make sure you're careful on this part, y'all. Be careful. You don't wanna mess up all the work you put in, okay? You don't wanna mess up all the work you put in. Just chill. Take it easy, take it easy. And that's a clean brow. Y'all get what I say when I, how I like my brow? Like, I like it to go out, like. And usually I don't go at the top, but if I feel like it's not too sharp at the tail, then I'll go in and like clean that up. But I think the issue is that um, it has a crook, it has a crook in it. So let me just fix that up a bit. Yeah, you see that? Boom! Shut up. Shut up. Sometimes I'll go like this. Not the full thing, but like. It's been 11 minutes on my brows. Oh my God, I'm talking too much. Let me finish the other uh, the other eyebrow and get this over with y'all. This eyebrow is not acting right, but whatever. We're just gonna keep going. She not gonna mess me up today. She not gonna mess up the mood today. I don't got time for you. I don't got time for you. Shit. So now, I'm just gonna go with my beauty blender and like try to patch it up and try to blend it before I put my foundation, before I put on my, um primer excuse me so back after blending guys and it doesn't matter if you blend it well or not either way foundation is going to go over the rest of your face and all of that's just going to be concealed but now that we're on to that step now you guys I got this as like a little sample in a Sephora box. It's the um, Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Y'all, one day I randomly used it because I had it sitting for a while. I'm like, let me just use it. Y'all, I used it. And I, after I came home after um, going out, I went out. I came home, I saw I had no smile lines. Y'all, no smile lines. If you know me, one thing about me and makeup, I have very, 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 very oily skin. And on top of having oily skin, I have cra- oh my god. Crazy smile lines. Like, if I do my makeup and I smile it right after, lines is already- the lines is already coming. Lines is already coming and coming. I look crazy. I be looking crazy at the end of the day. Like, my smile line is just like- terrible once i used this that first day this was like a couple weeks ago i used it that day y'all i have to buy the full thing this is the key to my success what would i do without this i don't know what i would do without this because i have the um the uh milk makeup hydro grip and it does nothing compared to this because i use primer specifically just so it can help with smile lines and nothing has done it for me besides this so first off, I'm going to go in with this. Because what would I do without this? Nothing. I'll be nothing. So let's get it. Oh, 
Juvia's place. My little sister got this for me for my birthday. That's her over there making sure I shouted her out. And she got me the shade, um, what shade is this? Let me see. Where is the shade number? She got me Angola 140. And y'all, I like this foundation a lot cause it's like full coverage, it sure is. But like the thing is it transfers really badly. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it transfers really, really badly. But <sighs> I love it though, I mean, I really, I really like the foundation, but I don't like that it transfers. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Y'all let me know. I don't know. We'll see. And don't mind the brush. It's not dirty. It's just been a long time coming, okay? I feel like Angola is a little bit darker than me, but I have different colors on my face. So like I make sure to go with the darkest one so I'm safe. Cause at the end of the day, I go in with light concealers and changes it a bit. So I don't mind that it's a bit darker than me. Look at that. That's such a perfect base. Like, shut up. Shut up. Now just for an even better blend, I'm gonna go in with my Velvet Juno sponge and just pat it. This is such a good foundation. Oh my God. Even though it already looks blended in, to be honest, I just do this. This foundation is crazy. Concealer time, right? Mm. Guess, Guess where we're going in now for concealer? Yes, ma'am. Revolution again. Like y'all saw in my other um, video with the half green, half black wig and stuff. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution. Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour in 12.5 and 13.5. So usually I go in with 13.5 first and then um, a little bit of 12.5 because it's really light and I don't want to look crazy. We're not trying to go for that, so look. And then I blend this out first. I don't go in with the second one right on top. I just do it one at a time. And I do go on top of my eyes too, just to make sure everything just looks the same, really. Blended. Go down here. And usually before I start my makeup, I always put some chapstick on, but I forgot. So my lips look a little dry. And y'all, I don't know if this beauty blender like sucks up the water, but I don't feel no water. <laughs> I told my sister to, you know, put a little dippy of water and I don't feel nothing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. We looking good. We looking. <laughs> That's you. Sorry. And guys, notice that it doesn't really look different, right? But this is what it looks after the um, after using the um, 13.5. This is what it's giving, and it, it doesn't look like I did anything really. So that's why I go in with the 12.5 after. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, my camera died, so I'm back again, back again, back again. So now I'm gonna go in with the 12.5 and put just a little bit, cause y'all, this is bright. This this concealer is really bright, so I'm just gonna go in with a bit.
Look at, look at, look at, uh, look at, uh, look at. Uh. Okay, let me see. Too Faced to just like, not really bake, but just go over the places where I put concealer to like make it stay in place. I forgot to say the color, but this is in medium. Look at that, we look mad and dry, mad and dry. Matt Indra, Matt Indra, Matt Indra, Matt Indra. Now that I've set the places where I concealed and brightened, I'm gonna go in with the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in the rest of my face with the MAC Studio Fix and NW50. I'm gonna go in with this fat Kabuki brush, whatever brush, powder brush, whatever. I bought it from um, TJ Maxx this one time. I used to work at TJ Maxx, so I bought it. Anyway, let's get into it. We're looking a bit natural. And y'all, I don't contour because I don't know how to contour, but I've been watching videos lately and I'm trying to see how I want to, you know, learn and then come to you guys to see how I did it. But um, that's going to happen in another video, obviously, because right now it's not working. After powdering our face, we're going to go in with some black liner for under. And we're going to go in with this um, eyeliner, eyebrow, pencil. I don't know who is by because like it's oh it's by LA Colors. You can buy it at what the dollar store or like the B supply store, it don't matter. Just going with in our waterline, not eyeliner, waterline and make it black. This is usually where I like stop at. Obviously, if you have more stuff to put on your face, you do that. But me. As for me, I don't do too much after this. I just go in with dramatic lashes and then after that I put a lip view on, but this is just where I stop. This is my natural, neutral looking face for when I go out and don't do eyeshadow. I heard this Mario Badesco stuff doesn't really work, but it don't matter, it smells good, so I'ma use it. And then, I go in with my Max Fix, Fix Plus Matte Prep and Prime. Y'all, this is the highlighter that I've been using since like high school. I still have it and guess what? I'm still gonna use it. Don't matter, nobody about to beat me up over this. Who gonna beat me? Nobody. And no, it doesn't break me out or do anything like like I said, I barely use highlighter anymore because I'll be forgetting, but I'll be all right. I'll be all right, right? And now we're about to look for some fire, fire lashes. Let's see. Earrings in, now time for the lippy. Y'all, this is my favorite part. I love lipstick, like, oh my God. This is in the color Times Square.
And usually by this time, it still looks crazy like this. It starts to look crazy like this. So I go in with more of the brown liner and even it out to make sure the pink is only in the middle. So, But this is my final look. This is what I do on a regular going out day, night, whatever. When I don't use eyeshadow, which is most of the time, like I said earlier. And this is just it. Later on, I'm gonna learn how to contour so I can have a, a crazy looking snatched face. So nobody can tell me nothing. But until then, this is what I do and this is what I suffice. So now I'm gonna change out of these dusty clothes and put a wig on with a scarf because I'm not I'm not going it down. I just took out a wig yesterday. I can't, I can't come and kill myself. So I'm gonna come back to y'all with better clothes and a better head. So guys, so I'm back with a better top and a better hairdo, my, thanks to my sister. That looks so cute, I like it, thank you. But anyway, this is my um, natural look that I've been doing lately, actually since I've been, since I've been doing makeup basically, it's the same process, but better products now, obviously. And yes, this is the lippy. The face, the hair, the everything. Don't mind my nails. Like I said, mind your business, okay? But yes, guys, I'll talk to you later. See you later. And I love you guys so much. We're almost at 400, which means we're almost at 500 subscribers, which means we're almost at 1K. Do the maths. Do the maths. Period. Tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your sisters, your mothers, your brothers, your cousins, your aunts, uncles, everybody to subscribe because guess what? We're only going up from here. Period. But yeah, you guys, I love you so much and thank you for your support. <laughs>